Hello and welcome. On this episode of Abbey Normal Garage, we go through the starter on the box tractor. So in testing, we found out when it's cold that the starter doesn't like to engage and it likes to squeal. We're gonna go ahead and fix that. I don't know if it's gonna do it here. It's been sitting in the garage for the last couple hours in the heat, but we'll give it a shot. Well, you heard the squeal, but the Bendix engaged just fine. Let's try it again. The first thing we gotta do is take the shroud off. It's a pretty simple procedure. Put the right side is not it. It's not even tight, apparently. This bolt's tight. Like it's got some bolts at the bottom as well. You know, other than this starter, this tractor's actually been doing pretty good. Okay, now we got to take this shroud off. There's some more bolts that have to come off to do that. I don't know why. These all these opposed twin engines have the bolts under the cooling shrouds. The uh, Onians are the same way. What an asinine place for a bolt. Oh, uh, wait. There is one bolt right here that I almost missed. Maybe that's what's holding us up. But yeah, I've ridden this thing to the mailbox a couple times and once you get it started, it's it's not doing it's doing pretty good. Are you trying to tell me that there's two bolts that I don't see? Yeah. I figured it out. There's two bolts on the face of this base plate that you can't really see. But they're there. And I'm willing to bet you if I take these out, it'll come off. Okay, what's stopping us now? There's a hidden bolt behind the voltage regulator. Go figure. Talk about an overkill. Really? There, thank God. It's a good thing we're doing this. Look at this. I don't remember this from the last time I had it apart. Well, we'll go ahead and blow all that out. The reason we came that far is there's two bolts in the front of the starter we need to take off. So let's go ahead and get those. After great efforts of pain and suffering, we should. Oh my God. More pain and suffering required. I'll tell you what. We all can't be like Derek Barilli of Vice Grip Garage. Okay. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh, come on. Got it. Woohoo! We got it! Now I can't speak for everyone else, but it's always a good idea to mark the alignment of the starter to the end caps before you disassemble it. <coughs> you 
Okay, so we went ahead and center punched it like that. It's not gonna damage the starter in any way, so it's no big deal. So now we're gonna go ahead and chalk it up in our vise. This was made back in the good old days before they started using them crappy pig rings. We're gonna get us a cheap automotive cloth. And grab our Bendix, take the nut off. I don't know if there's a ridge on the end of this or But I can't for the life of me get that off. Does look like there's a small ridge from where they went and tightened that. When in doubt, grind it out. Still won't come off. Success. Okay, so we got our Bendix off. We got our dog here. So now we gotta flip the starter over. And we take out these bolts right here. All right, let's go ahead and take these bolts out. Now these bolts are long, they go all the way through the starter. Okay, that one's out. Yeah, you're supposed to be paying attention. Somebody's gotta do this when I'm gone. You're probably thinking, fool, I'll be going before you. Oh. Alright. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. So the brushes don't look too bad. But take a look at all that nastiness. All that brush material that's ground up and so forth. The bushings in the starter are dry as a bone, no lubrication. All right, now that we got that out, let's put our camera back down. We can pull our armature out. We'll set that aside. Man, look at all that. That's bad. No wonder it was squealing. I'm looking over here at the bushings. They don't look too bad. Like I say, the brushes, I'd say they have probably about 50% life in them. I think we could save it. All right, let's go ahead and give it a scrub down. your standard electrical cleaner contact cleaner. Shove this beautiful rag in here. That was eBay instead of work calling. It's Terrell's favorite parts store.
son of a gun. This magnet has a chunk missing out of it. And a crack. of it showing up on the camera but there's a chunk missing out of it a small chunk and this crack this hairline crack ah what the hell we'll put it back together it don't owe us nothing okay we'll uh we'll polish up the armature here in a second got a scrub brush here we'll clean out the bendix with So I guess next time I go to the wheel horse show, I'm going to be trying to find me another starter for a, a KT-17 being my, even though that magnet's cracked, it seems to work fine. So I don't know if I'm going to worry about it or not. But if I have an opportunity to uh, get a spare starter at the wheel horse show, I definitely will. That looks way better. Work that off with the clean part of our towel. Now we don't want to get any oil on that. No oil on that or the brushes. <laughs> I literally put grease right on the damn armature, the brushes. not so hard to grease you just whatever finger fits best in the hole pretty much my memory might have failed on me and I was debating on which cap goes where these starters have little divots it also corresponds now without our marks fortunately this starter actually has a mark but there's our marks if I put this cap on the wrong the wrong side it won't index correctly with our mark. So that is how that cap goes. Alrighty, let's give this a shot. I'm gonna try to use this measuring device. Hold down these brushes while I set the armature on it. Got it. All right. Let's go ahead and set the uh, let's line up our marks. There's that one. There's that one. Now let's carefully slide a bolt in. We want to be careful not to let this uh, pop apart. So let's go ahead and tighten this bolt real fast. Now 
Okay, now that we don't have to worry about it coming apart, let's go ahead and put it in the vise upside down now. Okay, flip back over. Let's put a little bit of grease on the Bendix. The Bendix rides. Okay. Now we had that pesky spring cup or spring washer. And the nut. <laughs> Maybe our Bendix is bad too. That ain't fun. Maybe not, but it shouldn't be spinning that easy this backwards. You should have been able to hold that and tighten it. So, I'm going to put it in there and see if it works. I might be wrong. Kohler's might be different. Normally, you shouldn't be able to turn a Bendix like that. But it's not slipping on cranking. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. Then we'll come back and we'll give it a test drive. Well, Abby, we got it all buttoned up. You think it's fixed? You think? Let's give it a shot. Wow. Go to the mailbox and get the mail. Well, I would consider our refresh of the starter successful. A little wondering about that Bendix. I don't think it's supposed to slip like that, but we'll keep an eye on it. We're going to go ahead and park it outside in the cold, and we'll try to restart it before we go to bed tonight and see what happens. Feel free to like the video, share it with all your wheel horse friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you on the next episode of Abby Normal Garage.